Yeah, I'd just like to uh, have some comment because oh, yeah. uh, uh, I want to back up uh, the rule of law in uh, uh, <coughs> Hampton, New Hampshire. And uh, uh, the law is being violated. Uh, there's a shadow government. Uh, Mr. Silberdick has been involved with these email chains. Uh, he's highly critical. Uh, he uh, opined, I, 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 I'm to believe, that uh, I could not serve as a negotiator because as a teenager, uh, as a Winnicott High School student, I, I was employed as a, a, a part-time summer employee. There is a shadow government. Uh, it's uh, spearheaded by um, an, uh, an appointed official. And uh, it's a violation of the law. And uh, I know many people, <coughs> we spoke of Jerry McConnell uh, last week, and uh, he was laid to rest. Uh, this is the United States of America, and people uh, that have served uh, outside of Hampton uh, when they go to work, and some people don't return, and some people come back uh, mentally scarred, some people come back physically wounded, some people don't come back at all. Uh, for people to violate the law when they sit here and they take an oath uh, from our town clerk, I don't think that's a waste of time. And uh, I'm here to assist town council uh, in upholding uh, the rule of law. Uh, whatever it takes, and it may be uncomfortable, and it uh, may be considered by some people to be a waste of time, but if we have a budget committee, uh, it's going to uh, be at the will of the people of this town and uh, the lawful abiding citizens of this town. And we're going to uphold the law. And Madam Woolsey, who I have often asserted is unfit for government service, and uh, I'm the one person on this board that uh, served with her when she created the chaos of years ago with her compadres, and none of them were reelected. Uh, but I don't consider it a waste of time. And uh, again, anything we can do to stamp out a shadow government that uh, uh, breaks the law, uh, when we have union negotiations going on, and men and women are serving, and we have people violating the law, when we go to Porter Sandwich, what precedent is set in terms of litigation, in terms of tort threat, from people that negotiate in good faith in the shadow government that does exist and breaks the law, uh, what does that do to impugn the result if th these contracts are not approved? Where does this go? And what are the legal costs? So uh, it's not a waste of time. And uh, uh, no matter what committee you serve on in this, this town, no matter what board, if you sit here uh, and you are sworn by the town clerk, you obey the law or get out. And I applaud uh, uh, the town attorney for bringing this forward, and I don't consider it a waste of time. This is a highly charged budget committee. They were, they were voted a, uh, a wrist slap last year when their membership was reduced. They chose as a committee to appoint their chairperson, who was not elected as a selectman, who fired me as chairman, who drove Ben Moore off the board. It has been chaos, it has been rampant, it has been a conifer of, of destruction, an attempt to destroy personal reputations and dictate their will illegally in running this town. I'm not standing for it. I'm a graduate of Hampton Academy Junior High, Winnicott High School, the University of New Hampshire. Very, very humble education, but I'll stack it against anybody anywhere in the world. And Mr. Fernald and Mr. Cooper and all of my teachers at those institutions, and Rusty, you went there with me, uh, they'd be mortified. Uh, and I didn't catch that in the civics lesson. I didn't catch that in the Constitution. I didn't catch that in the state Constitution. And it's nonsense. And I applaud uh, uh, Attorney Gerald's and Mr. Welch's and yours, Mr. Bridal, your moral courage for standing up against this. And I don't consider it a waste of time. And when it stops, okay, and it's going to stop on our watch, when their conduct stops, and nobody's getting a pass on breaking the law, and we're saying, uh, geez, you had too much to drink. Uh, you're okay. You know, we're tired of enforcing the law. Mr. Flurry comes in here tonight and wants to keep a restaurant open for two hours. He goes and obeys the law and hires counsel. But we would have some that say the budget committee gets to break the law on a $26 million budget. Nonsense. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.